Hey, welcome back to another episode of Clinical Studies Made Simple. I'm your host, Austin, with Launch Medical, okay? Uh, we're, taking these, we're taking these studies, these clinical studies that aren't so simple to understand, and we're making them simple for you to understand, okay? Does that sound simple enough? Good. Okay, so today we're taking a study that was published in the uh, uh, Sexual Medicine Journal, published in 2016. The title of it is... <clears throat> 12-month efficacy and safety of low-intensity shockwave therapy for erectile dysfunction in patients who do not respond to phosphodiesterase type 5 inhibitors. What does that mean? Basically, they are evaluating men who underwent shock therapy who did not respond to the blue pills, okay, the Viagra, the Cialis. They're taking those men and uh, they're actually giving them shockwave therapy and seeing how they respond, right? So uh, let's see, the aim, the aim of this study to assess the long-term results of the effectiveness and safety of shock therapy in patients with ED who are non-responders to the blue pills, okay? That's the aim, all right? Methods, they did a four-session shockwave protocol. A four-session shockwave protocol. We don't know how many shockwaves they did per session. All we know is they did four sessions of it, okay? Uh, this was published in 2016. Uh, research has come out proving that the more shock waves that you do, the better results you get. Uh, the rocket performance protocol is actually six sessions with 15,000 shock waves per session. Okay, so all in all, with the entire performance protocol, that's 90,000 shock waves. Okay, I know I don't know how much they did here, but they only did four sessions. Of it, okay, uh, we're gonna jump straight down to the results. Okay, no patients reported treatment related to adverse events. No side effects. Okay, the conclusion shockwave therapy in patients with ED unresponsive to the pills uh, was effective and safe, and 60% of the treatments treated. The efficacy response was maintained for 12 months in most patients. Uh, so the patients uh, who didn't respond to the blue pills and who did get a response with the shockwave therapy uh, up until the end of how long they uh, looked out for the, these patients. Basically, what they do in the, a lot of these studies is uh, they do the shockwave therapy and then uh, they, they they check in with the patients for a period of time just to see if the results drop off or if they stay the same, right? So with this, they followed up up to 12 months and a lot of these patients, they had uh, great results up until they stopped checking in basically. So one thing I wanted to uh, point out is a lot of these studies, uh, they take men who don't respond to these these blue pills like it doesn't work at all so in that case we, we call those guys the severe ed guys okay the severe ed generally with those guys you need more shockwave therapy treatments uh to get better results but a lot of times uh if you really do have severe ed you can't get an erection period and the pills don't work oftentimes uh it's an external factor that that comes into play you know with diet and exercise that's super important it might also be a desired thing right but uh most importantly sometimes it's um a hormonal imbalance and that's something that you can really get checked out with a hormone expert we go a lot into that with our testosterone secrets book okay that uh dustin wrote okay because there's, there's a lot of lies uh or i guess not lies but there's a lot of misinformation being told out there if you've ever gotten your testosterone checked and you know it was below like 600 and someone told you that it was in range that's a lie okay that's a that's a flat out lie it's just, it's wrong it's not within range okay there's a reason if you feel like shit there's a, sorry if you feel like crap there's a reason you feel like crap all right and uh you should actually get your testosterone checked by an expert so if you want to learn more secrets like that and what they're not telling you go to testosteronesecretsbook.com to learn more today okay all right guys that was clinical studies made simple i'm your host austin with launch medical thanks for watching